Thank you very much, uh, members of the Fourth Estate, for being with us today. Um, I want to thank the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission for working with us and for helping us to recover and to deal with you know, those who have been trying to grab this property over a long time, some who have been public servants, and it's very sad. Um, as the MD of Nairobi Water has explained, this is public land that is in use um, in treating the sewer in this area. And we have many other parcels that uh, we have seen and we have com we, you know, we've committed to work with the ESCC um, to recover. I have written to them a few uh, weeks ago, <coughs> either by way of uh, the allocation or purchase or surrender. Now, we want to put land grabbers on notice. Whether you took it in the 90s or in the 80s or in the 70s, the history and track record and process of allocation is very clear. It's very clear in the law. We will catch up with you. What belongs to the people of Nairobi shall remain for the people of Nairobi. There are those who think they have made it, they have made away with uh, property, they have created fake titles, some are even in you know, active uh, possession, some have charged the titles and gotten loans. We will catch up with you. We have the, you know, the record and the trail from 1901 when Nairobi City County started as a council. The good thing about the county is that a lot of records have been kept intact. We have minute books that we've gone through. In fact, after this, where I'm going right next to Mutwini, where we recovered land that was grabbed, we are about to complete the building of a market um, in Mutwini. It is actually 70 to 80 percent complete. In uh, Kasarani, Majimazuri grounds, 5.4 acres, had been grabbed. Not only had it been grabbed, it was being sold to us <laughs> by the grabbers. We have recovered it and we are building also a market there. In South B, the South B market had also been grabbed. You remember what used to be called Makuti Park. And some of those involved are also public officers. We are building a market there that was supposed to be, to be built. These people have the audacity not only to grab and to create fake documentation, but to claim compensation. So you steal, and then you ask for compensation of around 1.2 billion. I think 1.18, if I'm not wrong. You know, the audacity and that, I think they should be not only arrested, but given a brave, a medal for bravery. Because that is just impunity of the highest order. So we're just putting you on notice. There are many, many more parcels. We've discovered actually close to 700 parcels of land that was surrendered to the county of Nairobi. When a subdivision is done, there's a percentage that reverts to the county. Our surveyors have gone, we've gotten the maps. There are many in this current area, very many. There are many in Westlands, there are many in Eastlands, many of the big schemes. And so I'm really happy. And I just want to emphasize um, our collaboration with the ESCC. We are, we are very grateful, um, Bonayasin and your team. And uh, please give our gratitude to the chairman and to the CEO, because that is what true recovery of public assets means. You know, it is not about anything more than restoring the original intention of uh, what you know public good was supposed to to do. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm grateful. Um, there are people who don't understand how this process works. The MD has explained just because it looks empty, it is not empty. There are a lot of uh, anaerobic and biological processes happening under here. Yeah, he's explained about the first entry point of the sewer how it is treated, how it moves on until final release into the Mokoyeti um, River. So those who are allergic to open spaces, please. <laughs> you know, there are those who they just itch when they see this space. And we know them. Kindly keep off Nairobi, Nairobi land. Um, we have also published in the papers a list of land rate defaulters. The amount owed to the city is almost amounting to a trillion. We want services. You want roads done. You're saying you want drainage done. We are saying we want, you know, the schools to operate properly, hospitals to have drugs. But there are people who are riding on the shoulders. The burden of, 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 of taxation or payment is only on a few people. We have issued that notice. We are issuing it again this Tuesday on my Gov uh, publication. And we will start taking action the week after. We are going to repossess an auction following the procedures of the law. Because we want Nairobi to work. And if it has to work, it is through what we pay. We have a shortage of water. We are trying to develop new you know, sources of water. 
I'm happy Northern Collector 2 is about to, Northern Collector 1 is about to be complete. I was talking to Earthy Water MD the other day, end of this month, they expect uh, completion. We want to do Northern Collector 2, Maragua 4, to get 220 more million liters of water. But we must carry each other along. So I'm grateful to the residents of Karen, many whom have been aware of this issue. We also have another uh, property behind the shopping center that has been uh, a bone of contention, but we're in possession of it and we're, we're using it. So asante ni sana.